Hey guys, back here again with another product video with Tony Merwin, the Merwinator, and Tony is going to talk to us about Emeritus. We have actually been working on Emeritus with him for quite a while, and the Emeritus uh, dental product has been a competitor in that market for some time. Um, they always get brought up with the first year major coverage. Um, they're one of the first or still one of the few that do anything like that. Um, and they have some other things like orthodontia and things that they've covered. Um, they, they are a, a great uh, long time in the market product. So there's not a lot of fear that you're going to have to, you know, roll your book because they're getting out of it and jacking their rates up or anything like that. Uh, so they have some things that we know about that. But Tony's going to fill us in on some updates on the product and uh, what sets it apart from a market that is getting a little crowded. There's a lot of lot of dental products right now, a lot of good dental products, you know, with 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 your big companies, Aetna, Cigna, Manhattan Life. But we're going to talk Emeritus and why is Emeritus a player in this dental market right now, Tony? Yeah, um, they're a player for a multitude of reasons. Um, in my personal opinion, my three, I think my three favorite big benefits that I think sets them apart um, one network size, it is enormous. I've never had an issue finding a good amount of network providers in any zip code I've ever searched. Their network providers on average are about 35% cheaper okay. on all the different services than other providers. That's a pretty big deal. And when you combine that with their first year coverage on major services, that can be huge, right? I mean, you may only be getting 15% discount on your first year for majors, but you're going to a network provider who's already a reduced rate. I mean, one of my buddies had to have about $3,000 in dental work that he was bid. And he called me. He's like, hey, do you, can you help me with dental insurance? I said, as a matter of fact, I can. What's the deal? And he's like, well, this guy just gave me a recommendation for about $3,000 worth of work that I need. That's ridiculous. And so I told him to check out a, an Emeritus provider. Here's my plan rate I can show you. And this is what it would do for you. He ended up knocking that down to 1500 bucks. Yeah. immediately. I enrolled him like two days later, he scheduled the appointment, went in, got all the surgery and work done. It was half the price. Yeah. That's so, awesome. And that's a huge value when you compound uh, the discount that the network providers use with your ability to use major services on day yeah. one. Yeah. Um, but they did just update their plans recently in July. Mm -hmm. So, and one thing that is true about Emeritus, their plans are a little different depending on the state that you live in. I mean, they do have a national network for the most part, but there are a couple of states like Ohio, for example, where the product's a little different because state regulations are a little different. So you, you know, if you're in Ohio, for example, you want to make sure you're looking at Ohio specifics. Other states like Texas, Mississippi, et cetera, are a little more generic, and they do run on the basic national plan. Um, but they up they updated those to three plans. They have the uh, Prime Star value, access, and total. In exact that order, right? Values the base level plan. You can get into it for about 17 bucks. Mm -hmm. This is the plan that's really just designed for people that hardly go to the dentist, right? They just pretty much glow for cleanings and the occasional checkup and treatment, maybe the occasional filling, but yeah. they somebody that's got really good teeth. Mm -hmm. uh, so, cause it's only a $750 benefit per year. Right. On that one, right? Base level, but 17 bucks, you can get into it as an individual and get you some dental coverage. Yeah. Um, their other plan, their access is the little more robust. Uh, this is the one that they add the orthodontia benefit. So if you are a family and you got a kid with orthodontia, uh, the access plan is the one you're probably looking for. And they'll give you an option between a thousand or two thousand dollar benefit uh, for the for the year. And then uh, that one also adds a LASIK discount. It's not a huge deal. But a lot of plans don't cover any kind of LASIK, and they threw a LASIK surgery benefit on there, pay about 125 bucks per eye. Okay. Right. Not bad. Every little bit helps. Every little bit helps. Absolutely. And then their big plan is their total plan, uh, which you can get up to $2,500 uh, in max benefit. And the major services on that one kick off at a 20% rate. Okay. And the... Um the the plan is it age banded as far as what the rates are or are they or do they not no it's uh, it's a single single plus one family so and then it's just based family. on your zip code and then so obviously how much benefit you want 
sometimes people that are you know older or past a certain benchmark and age actually come out way better on, on that sort. Absolutely, of thing. and then on the all the flip side, sometimes younger people are like, "Well, it's a little expensive for me." Yeah. So yeah. yeah so because it's not age banded, way. Um, right? And uh, there's only only a couple that actually do it that way, where there's no age taken into consideration. So, okay. Yeah. Cool. I do find their sweet spot right around that Medicare age. Yeah. Right around the 60 to 7 year old age, but that seems to be their sweet spot though. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Well, orthodontia, first year majors, massive network, good options um, are all reasons to consider Emeritus. Uh, having yeah. a national network, a huge footprint, been around for a while. A lot of dentists are already familiar with them. Um, and so, you know, even though the name brand Emeritus might not hold like branded value weight to some, to dentists, it's pretty well known because they absolutely been, it been is into that game for a, they've been in that game for a while. Yeah. Um, so awesome. Well, if you don't have Emeritus, and you're looking for a good dental product, especially for some of those those perks there, especially to have in your toolkit for the first year majors option. That's that's a huge one for uh, for us uh, when some of, when that comes up you know, uh, it's pretty much the only one I'm, I'm going to offer because it's the only one that's going to pay anything itself. You know, some of the yeah. other ones, you get access to the discount right away, but the discount plus, you know, the first year majors, um, like Tony said, in that case ended up being about 50% off the bill. So yeah, it's huge. Cause at. I remember when I first started selling dental or when I first started selling insurance 17 years ago, that was like two dental plans. They both sucked. Yeah. <laughs> They're both terrible. Yeah. Um, and there were, you know, you had to wait a minimum six months, if not a year to get any major service. And at just about every client that ever asked any of my Medicare clients that asked me, Hey, do you do dental? Yeah. They all had, an, there was a reason they were asking us because they had a toothache now. Yeah. Right. Nobody wakes up going, Hmm, you know, what sounds like a good thing to do. Let's go buy some dental insurance. Yeah. I'm sure I'm probably going to have some dental problems later. They all wait until like, Oh, Yep. I've got a major problem. It hurts. I need to go see the dentist. And then they call you and go, hey, can you help me with dental insurance? Right. Well, I can, but it's and not going to do anything for you now. Well, here's yeah. a product that you can actually say yes, and we can fix your problem tomorrow. Yeah. Now, I'll tell you guys, the reason that a dental product can do this sort of thing and, um, and that can and, and that they have gotten better is because, in my eyes, a lot of agents, as some of these products started to roll out, started offering it at T65 uh, with their T65 clients, or they were actively bringing it up. If you only sell dental when you're waiting for that to happen, and it's, it's definitely good to have it because it's going to happen. But if you only sell dental to the, the, the worst client, it'd be like only selling health insurance to somebody once they got cancer. And that's correct. Underwriting on it. So, you know, be, vigilant in your effort to get the dental coverage before they need it so that the insurance companies can actually operate the way they were designed to bring in prim premiums and avert risk, not to only take on imminent risk. Emeritus is doing a really good thing for you as the agent. So you might want to share some love with them on the ones before they get that too, you know, um, you know, and that's like, this adverse selection in products. Sometimes you'll get, you know, uh, a guaranteed issue, you know, life policy. And, and, and obviously they're getting all the worst business. And some of them know what they're doing when they do that. And they've priced it in actuarially. Um, but it's always good to take a company that's willing to do something where you're like, oh, that's stand out and try to give them some good business. Um, same thing when you're talking about, you know, a Medicare supplement that's uh, pricing themselves say really well for T65 or paying commissions on GI, which we all know is uh, a death sentence. But if somebody's doing that and you're and you're going to participate with them and you're going to play with them, try to give them some good business too. You know, absolutely. You um, are an agent of the carrier after all. Yeah, we want to make sure contract. That we're trying to give them a diverse book of business. I had a, I had one time a, a, an agent that told me. <clears throat> Oh, I'm, I'm about to really kill it. I have a great referral partner for Medicare supplement business. Um, you know, it's uh, a lady I know, she's the vice president of the Kidney Foundation. And uh, she's sending me everybody she meets that has end-stage renal disease. And I'm like, 
look, I know we need to help those people, but just so you know, if that is a hundred percent of your business, prepare to get terminated, not for calls by some companies because Absolutely. they can't just take a full stream of, of that, you know, or at least that has to be diversified into multiple, uh, you know, when we look at, you know, even getting that kind of business ourselves, sometimes I, I'm, I try to at least spread it out a little bit. So I'm not like just given a death sentence to like a small carrier. So you take a small Medicare supplement, for instance, it comes out and you go and send them, you know, five or 10 kidney dialysis patients right away, you just really hurt their potential to be successful. And then if you go Absolutely. and give them some high, high quality underwritten business, now you're, you're putting people with a carrier that's probably going to have substantial rate increases because it don't, it doesn't take a whole lot of dialysis patients to mess up a small company. No, it doesn't. Uh, so well any said. product you're talking about, make sure you think about this as a partnership between you and the company and try to get them businesses. So on dental, it's an active sale. So to sell more dental, what you have to do is you have to bring it up. You have to talk, you have to sell it. You have to sell the idea of it. Oh, I don't have a lot of dental problems. Oh, that's great. If I knew for sure I was never going to have dental insurance, I absolutely wouldn't get dental or you wouldn't get dental insurance. If I wasn't going to ever have any dental surgery. Unfortunately, we just don't know what's going to happen. And so this product here is absolutely the one that I would want in my toolkit if I had something big come up and it's only X amount a month, you know, so definitely try to sell it. You'd be surprised how many people sell it. And I tell people, nobody's getting mad at you for bringing up dental. It's just like the lady at the end of your meal that puts the dessert menu down. We don't ever get mad at her. Like, whoa, lady. What the hell are you trying to do with the desserts? You know, I say no a lot, but I don't get mad at her. I right. Should say, I should say no more often as we all should <laughs> to dessert, but I don't get mad and nobody's going to get mad at you for offering dental. You need to offer it. And in fact, a Very lot true. Of them, if you don't offer it, you're going to go buy it somewhere else. Very so, true. Anyway. Especially with your T65 people, right? Cause they're a lot of them are coming from group benefits, employer benefits where they had dental. Mm-hmm. You know, so some good discovery, you find out what benefits they had. Say, okay, well, this is what you had. So we want to make sure you still have Absolutely. all of that in this new space that we're coming to. So here's mm-hmm. hospital, medical, drugs, dental, critical illness. we got you all set up. Yeah. Dental is a, is absolutely the, the easiest cross sell out there. Um, you know, aside from a drug plan, which we don't really care count. We've even started like on our on our product layout sheets, we're starting to include Medigap and PDP. It's just one line, like, duh, you're getting that, you know? Right. Um, and then the next line is dental vision hearing. The next line is cancer, you know? Um, you know, but dental is an easy cross sale. We find that in that T65 range, we've seen people as high as 70% placement on every T65 they have getting a dental policy. Um, but it's because they know how to present it. And, uh, and yeah. there's a way there are negatives to a dental plan. If you, if you sure. start to say a dental plan, you start to say, now the first year, it's only going to cover 15% on majors. Well, the person sitting there going, man, that sucks. You know, but if you say, Hey, there are a lot of dental plans in the market right now, but we have this one that will actually cover something on majors right away. And it has a massive network that if you go to that network provider and have the major services in the first year, you're looking up to potentially, you know, 40, 50% off that first year in that, that, that uh, service and much more than that after the first year, there are ways to present it where you're not being dishonest, but you're talking about the highlights and comparing it to reality rather than just doing it. I had an agent one time that would go through and say, now the first year, this dental plan only covers 60%. The second year, after a full 12 months, it'll go up to 70%, um, you know, but it, it's still only going to be $1,500 a year. I'm like, and then, and then she'd come out and go, I can't sell any dental. I, I don't know what my problem dental. is. Nobody's buying it. They're really analytical. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well just lead with the limitations and exclusions. Yeah. yeah. Will not cover, will not cover, will not cover. Here are the things, cover, that, won't will cover. Cover. Are the things that it won't cover. Can I go ahead and sign you up? Implants no. <laughs> out. Orthodontia out. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah. But, you know, you have to hit the highlights and, and talk about the good things. 
And then you, if you want to come in and say, okay, here's, here are some limitations, but these, we find these to not be, you know, massively, you know, necessary. If that's something that concerns you, let me know which one it is. And we'll see if we can find a plan that does cover that. That's it, you know, but you, Absolutely. Don't, you have to get them excited about the product first. You know, you're, you're selling something. I mean, uh, you know, I mean, Walmart doesn't put on the, the door of the milk aisle. Uh, if you don't drink this fast, it will spoil and stink. <laughs> I mean, you know, the, you, very discreet like, expiration date. That's all yeah, you get. Car dealerships don't say this is the fastest depreciating asset you will ever purchase. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they say Bluetooth and Bose surround sound, or, you know, that you have to talk about the good stuff, right? Absolutely. Um, that, that's what sales is and sales and marketing. So yeah. Anyway, guys, Emeritus Dental is a great product. We've picked it up. We work with Tony on it. If you're interested in it, you can reach out to him or me on Facebook, or you can call us at uh, 855-65-YEARS, or you can call Tony at 800-998-7715. Perfect, guys. Well, give it's us got the at easiest e-app on the market, too, in my opinion. Uh, super easy. Very easy consumer-facing uh, content yeah. as well. So. Uh, great, great network, great name with the dentist. Um, pretension's probably higher with it than some products just because the dentists aren't telling them to get off of it as much, that kind of stuff. So check it out. Thanks, guys. Did you subscribe to the YouTube channel? Did you like the video? Please turn your notifications on and head over here to our next video. And if you haven't joined our Facebook group, check out Medicare Gurus. It's over 7,000 members strong currently, and there's tons and tons of wealth of information and knowledge from experienced agents as well as new agents that you can find and help shepherd. So thank you guys so much for watching. Check this video out right here.